a big deal. In the UK, stress accounts for a big share of work-related illnesses reported every year. You can decrease your chances of becoming a victim by recognizing the signs of stress, identifying what causes you stress, and putting into practice strategies for reducing stress. Occasionally, we'll refer to a stress action plan, which you can download to your desktop, make notes, complete assessments, and use in your workplace. People say they are stressed out or under stress regularly, but are they? What is stress at work? Thanks to Health and Safety Executive's definition, stress is about the damaging reactions, emotional and physical, to excessive pressures and demands. If it's intense or goes on for a long time, it can lead to ill health. If you want to see more, move your mouse over each option. Some pressure can be positive. Work we find challenging can motivate us, inspire our creativity and improve our performance. But too much pressure, no time to recover, and we may feel unable to cope. Then we can start to experience stress and that can harm our performance and well-being. And if the stress is long drawn out and or intense, it can lead to serious health problems. An early indication of stress can be that your behavior changes. This self-assessment helps you to consider whether you are behaving differently from normal. Completing it will give you an indication of whether you are experiencing stress. Chosen tend to indicate higher levels of stress, which could put your well-being at risk. You'll get tips on how to recognize and manage stress as you go through the rest of the course. In general, check for reduced performance defensive responses, anxiety, and physical symptoms. Keep this questionnaire handy and check your symptoms of stress regularly or when there has been a change or event in your life. The questions you were asked can be grouped into four areas. Our immediate thoughts, our feelings, our physical responses, and our behaviors. Stress can become a habit Something happens to stress us. We have an automatic thought. I can't cope. I'm useless. We experience feelings such as anger, anxiety, and frustration. Our body reacts. Our heart rate may increase. We may experience butterflies. In the longer term, we might catch more colds or get headaches or have raised blood pressure. We may be irritable, lose concentration, work harder instead of smarter. We might also try to cope by eating or drinking too much or eating too little. The way we feel about ourselves increases our sensitivity when something stressful happens again. It's a loop in which we can get stuck, acting out of habit instead of standing back and taking control. People respond differently to stress. Explore how stress can affect you by moving your mouse over the image. Some of the symptoms we've included are not necessarily signs of stress for you. They may have another cause. They may be the norm for you. To stay healthy, you should be alert for changes. identify what causes you stress at work. Things we've asked you about have been identified as the six major causes of stress by the Health and Safety Executive. As you've Once you have identified the current causes of stress, have a look at these do's and don'ts. There is space in your ebook to put together an action plan for your specific causes of stress. When you want to talk about stress with a manager or HR, Using the same words and having a similar understanding will help you discuss the issues. When you feel out of control of your work or your professional life, analyze why and identify what would need to change to make you feel less stressed. We can't escape change at work. 
we can reduce the stress it causes if we accept what we can't influence and learn to adapt our skills to the situation. If you feel the demands on you are excessive, identify whether you feel it's the workload, your ability to do the work, the flow of work, or the working environment. We aren't going to get on with everyone at work. Your colleagues may not treat you as you would like to be treated. You may have a line manager who's poorly trained or stressed. If it's a cause of stress, talk to someone who can help. Never tolerate bullying or discrimination. Report it immediately. Feeling unsupported or out of the loop can lead to feeling isolated. Identify the root causes. What coaching or training might help? What do you need to know about the business to feel less anxious? Asking for help isn't a weakness. If you're unsure about your role and responsibilities, you should ask your manager to set them out clearly for you. Digging down from the general cause to the specific issues can offer new insights. For example, you may feel you have too many tight deadlines. But perhaps you wouldn't have so many if you improved the way you managed your time, or if you stopped procrastinating. By identifying the specific issues, you can start to take control of the situation. Use the planning tools available here and elsewhere in the course to analyze your causes of stress. Take charge of your stress by starting at the beginning. Instead of the automatic negative thoughts and self-talk, stop, breathe, and do some positive self-talk. This is not intended to be unrealistic or to sweep issues under the carpet. It's to put the stress into perspective and realistically look at its impact. It's designed to break the cycle and kick you out of a rut. Interrupting the cycle here means that more positive or at least neutral emotions, physical responses and behaviors now have a chance, increasing your resilience to stress. Lucy is a web designer. She is worried about the amount of time she's having to spend at work. If she asked you for help, what would you ask to get to the bottom of her problem? Apparent cause of stress is workload, but when you drill down, she needs to address a tendency to be too perfect. These are the kinds of questions you can ask yourself. Compromise between her standards and the demands of the business but it may take some time. These are helpful steps to move Lucy in the right direction. These steps are too radical and could be counterproductive. Lucy can't avoid this stressful situation, so she needs to try to alter it. She will have to talk to her manager, be willing to compromise her standards and manage her time better. Ganesh is a workshop engineer. He's working through lunch and after hours to get all his jobs done. What would you advise him to do? Approaches to dealing with unreasonable demands. Altering his approach and calmly and objectively explaining the situation, telling his manager when things can be done, and asking for clarification are assertive and adult ways to handle overload. His manager will appreciate what's possible and be able to make good decisions. Sophia is talking about her work and stress with a member of HR. Which causes of stress are at work here? Of Sophia's stress. A new team brings new colleagues, processes, expectations, and environment. The difficult relationship with her manager is stressful and may cause tension with other team members. And finally, Sophia is not getting the support and feedback she needs to function effectively. Support and a very difficult relationship are contributing to Sophia to deal with first. We agree. If Sophia can improve her relationship with her manager, she can increase the support she gets at the same time. The issues associated with the new team will fade naturally. By tackling one issue, she may well deal with the rest at the same time. If you were the HR representative, what would you recommend Sophia should do? What would you recommend Sophia should do? We agree. 
Sophia needs to take positive action to fix this relationship. Avoiding the issue by asking her colleagues or suppressing her worries is not a good strategy. Going around her manager is not a good first step. Confronting her manager with a list of complaints is counterproductive. If she discusses her concerns and needs calmly and professionally while being emotionally prepared for any difficult moments, she will show responsibility and maturity and is more likely to get a positive response. You may have noticed by now that there are some core skills that are most useful in dealing with or heading off potential stress. Use this self-assessment to see what you might need to develop to reduce and deal with stress at work. Reducing stress, you may need to look at relieving stress more immediately. How good are you at relieving stress? Excellent. You look after yourself well and should be in great shape to handle stress. If you need some practical tips for more healthy living, select one or more of the four key areas. Before we end this course, here's a summary of what we've covered. To increase your self-awareness, we've looked at the health and safety executive's definition, reviewed the symptoms of stress, and seen that stress is a habit that can be broken. To help you analyze what's making you stressed, we've outlined six broad causes and possible solutions, and shown how identifying root causes focuses your stress reduction plan to help you put your plan into action. We've explored some workplace scenarios, highlighted three stress-busting skills that help reduce stress, and suggested how to relieve stress. Take time to use your action planner now and whenever you need it.